So good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be able to address you today. Um, I'm guessing it's the green button, indeed. Um, what I want to share with you today is just three topics. I want to take you through the journey that is Lenovo. That's how we've really accelerated and grown our business, but also developed our brand and in innovated in product. And actually, the innovation of product is absolutely key And how you've heard from many speakers, the market is changing. And what we see is the PC landscape dramatically changing. And we've, we've, we've uh, put that in a strategy called PC Plus. And then, of course, talk about the opportunity uh, for you uh, to support us and grow our business. So actually, uh, this is the second time uh, I've been to the district conference and spoken. And actually, of course, the news since I spoke last year, I talked about our ambitions. And uh, sure enough, uh, in last year, we achieved the, the world leadership of the PC business. Um, that's founded in many of the countries and regions of the world. So if you look, we're now the leader in five of the seven top markets. So that's China, of course, Japan, Brazil, Germany, and Russia. So we have just two more of the major regions around the world to achieve. Um, the, the, the growth has been phenomenal. If you look, you know, we talk about just over $30 billion. That's doubling our revenues from 2009 when we were 15 billion to that. We actually announced our latest quarter results for Q4, um, and you can see that growth continues. So Q4 alone is the first quarter we've made more than $10 billion of revenue. People often ask uh, us about the company, and uh, you see the word global, and we genuinely believe we're not only a global company, but also an international company. Of course, our heritage is, uh, is a Chinese heritage, but we've really transformed the company. I think that's embodied in the people, of course. And if you look at our leadership team of, of the 10 top leaders, they represent six different nationalities in, in that team. So here's a track of our performance. Um, we've now hit 19 straight quarters where we've grown faster than the market. We achieved, you can see, 18.6%, highest ever record share we've had. We held the leadership for the whole of last year uh, and really stretched out our lead on the world stage from, from HP. Um, if you look at the bottom, you'll see uh, in Q4, we shipped in total 29 million devices. So that is a device every four seconds. Now, of course, we're, we're most known for this product, the ThinkPad. But if, if you look in the bottom left chart, you'll see of the 29 million in Q4, we shipped more smart connected devices, which are tablets and phones, than PCs. Um, so we shipped, actually I'm struggling to read, I should have, 15 million uh, smart devices. Um, big foundation and, and a platform for growth in Amir has been tablets. Uh, in Q4, we shipped 2.3 million tablets. And EMEA is really leading the way. We are the growth engine of, of the tablet business, uh, unlike in many categories where these things start from China. So coming closer to home, we have a little bit more work to do, and I hope next year, if I'm invited back, that we'll be celebrating here the number one position. So you can see we have a little bit further to go. Uh, we reach 15.3%. Um, just to, it, it's not easy to read on the graph, but that's four points share increase year to year. So pretty dramatic. You'll see it's across many of the markets, and of course EMEA is very diverse from really emerging to mature. And we're now double digits in 39 markets. Holding number one in critical markets, but actually, you know, the internal challenge of all the sales managers is to be number one. So we, we first became number one in the Emirates market, and you can see making strong strides in markets like UK, France, but also Nigeria, where we became number two, along with South Africa, for the first time. Smartphones isn't mentioned, but we already have our smartphone products in five markets of EMEA. Uh, and in a very short space of time, if you take two of those, so again, the Emirates market, in six months, we've reached 19 points of share. In um, 
sorry, Ukraine is 19 points of share, that is what I want to say, and, and Emirates is actually 14 points. So you can see how aggressive we are. We don't want to play in markets just to be an also run. So let me talk about, I think last year I introduced, and I think many of our executives talk about the changing landscape and how we're transforming our business and how we're broadening what we believe is a PC. So it's not a traditional clamshell product anymore. That means we have to measure ourselves in a different way, and we're not satisfied just to be number one for, for PCs. So we start to measure ourselves, yes, against the biggest names in this industry, so the Apple and Samsung of the world, and across that whole product landscape. So that includes what we call smart connected devices, so traditional PC, tablets, and phones. Um, in terms of that, that now represents 15% of our worldwide revenues, and we're growing phenomenally quickly. The growth is around 40% year to year. So of course, I couldn't really, and, and, and everybody's asking us, um, our CEO has had a busy start to the new year. I think he puts uh, a new definition in the term of uh, shopping in the January sales. Uh, he's clearly uh, investing behind the strategy we've been talking about, uh, investing and intending to acquire two businesses. Um, in terms of the IBM acquisition, then this obviously um, brings us far further forward in our x86 server category of products. More than that, we will see 7,500 uh, employees joining the company. Um, and the deal, when it's closed, because of course neither are closed, uh, would take us from a server position of number six to very clearly a strong number three player. And in effect, this is, this is what it's doing, is accelerating our, our penetration in that market. And, and I've heard him explain that takes us forward about five years in our growth path. So that's what it does for us. At the other end of the spectrum in smartphones, of course, the, the acquisition with Motorola not only brings an incredible brand and a strong um, reputed brand, but again, it will see around 3,500 people joining the company. And most important of all, what we're, what we're investing and getting is two-thirds of those people are in uh, technical and engineering functions. So it's all about building capability to, to enable us to grow faster. Um, of course, also in, in the uh, phone space, uh, it brings us capabilities of dealing with new channels like the telco and operator channel. But we're not going to stand still. You know, those deals take some time to close. Probably the IBM deal will take six to nine months to close. So we are not going to stand still. Uh, we continue to invest for server. We have our own server line. We created the enterprise product group now back in October 2012. We're building out our server, our storage, our networking, software and services capability. Typically, that's founded on uh, enterprise class product. That's where we're moving. Of course, open standards, x86 platform but also leveraging our strong reputation for quality. But also what we're going to bring to this market is, as we've done for PC, is leverage our scale and capability to deliver value for money and, and drive aggressively on price. Within that platform, we continue our uh, joint venture with EMC. Um, and that saw various elements come together. So the first of that was we mentioned NAS mentioned. The iMega brand is now fully part of the Lenovo family. We rebranded it under the corporate umbrella, but still leveraged the iMega brand. So we are pushing in that NAS storage market, but also you'll see us bring jointly developed products to strengthen our server platform with EMC. I'm not going to go through the product uh, portfolio, but already you can see a strong breadth of product and capability, and you'll see we're investing in that. We're not just going to wait for the deal with IBM to close. Tablets I already mentioned. Um, you can see phenomenal growth. We're both in Android and Windows space. 
What we're trying to do, though, is, is innovate. You know, this is leveraging, this product we launched in the run-up to Christmas, we're leveraging the strong yoga reputation we, we created from the convertible PC product. We're trying to do something different. It's not just another tablet. We're trying to innovate through product and improve our brand reputation. For smartphone, um, it's a crowded market you see. There will be further consolidation as we're, as we're demonstrating. Uh, we're already number four worldwide. This year, we should ship around 50 million smartphones, just to already put context on it. Um, and that's from uh, a presence in around 25 emerging markets. Now, 25 emerging markets admittedly gives us access to 45% of the world's population, and it doesn't stop there. In the coming few quarters, we're going to expand in a further 20 emerging markets. And of course, we've been on, on the record to say we will launch products within Europe, within the, the mature markets. However, I'm not in a position to tell you exactly when that will be, but that is on the horizon. So what is the opportunity? Well, quite simply, it's to join us in that growth. And we are absolutely committed to the channel, as you will see. And that growth in EMEA last year drove and brought through, through your support revenues of 1.5 billion extra. That's from driving and more partners coming on board with us, but also you allowing us more shelf space to demonstrate our products to potential consumers. And you can see from context, we're absolutely one of the stars of this business. In a quite tough year when growth's been, say, 2 or 3%, you can see us consistently for five quarters being in the high 25% and driving growth uh, and traffic and customers to your doors. And we thank you for that and hope that you want to continue to work with us in the coming year. So just to wrap up, you know, the, the opportunities that, that we're working on continue to broaden and we want you to support us. The thing never to forget is as we diversify, we still are a PC player. People talk about how tough it is, but the PC market is still a $200 billion business and we want to be number one. So I want to be back here next year and celebrate that with you. That means expanding channels, so we do continue to welcome new partners and invest in you so you can show more of our product. Um, server you heard, we're in 11 markets uh, in, across EMEA and we want to broaden that as we build out our capability. We have really strong targets and ambitions for, for, um, for tablets. We're around about 5% share this year as we close Q4. And so we're looking to double that business and enjoy and, 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 and from the growth. And you will see us expand in the smartphone space. So thank you very much indeed for your time and attention. And uh, we'll see you later during the day. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you.